Hey y'all, this is BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy. In the previous video, I showed you how to set up Firestore from the Firebase UI and we created some fake user data. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to hook up that Firebase instance with Gatsby. So let's get going. All the code from this tutorial will be available on GitHub and I'll link it down in the description below. Just for reference, this is the Firestore that we created with the following users. We got Brad Garropy, Wes Boss, and Scott Tolinsky. So we're gonna be integrating this into Gatsby and right now I've just got the default starter running. So let's hop into the code and start from there. The very first thing we're gonna to need to do is instantiate a Firebase instance. So let's create a utils directory and we'll add a firebase.js file in there. We'll also have to install the Firebase SDK. You can do that with npm install Firebase. Now coming back to this firebase.js file, we'll go ahead and import Firebase from the package we just installed, Firebase slash app. And because we also wanna hook into Firestore, the database, we'll have to import Firebase slash Firestore which runs some side effects that affects the Firebase object. Now, we're gonna to need to pass it a configuration which uniquely identifies us. And that configuration can be found back in your Firebase console. So if you go to Firebase, then click go to console in the top right, choose the project that we're working on, Firebase Setup, and then click this cog next to project overview and then project settings and scroll down. You will see a section called Firebase SDK snippet. You can click on config and just get the raw JSON of the snippet that you need to copy and paste that into your configuration here. Now, some people might say, hey, that's private information. You should not be using that on the front end. But Firebase is a little bit different. Don't get me wrong, I still do put these into environment variables. However, Firebase is intended to be accessed from the front end, and thus all of this information is okay to commit to your GitHub repository. Next, we're going to want to call initialize app with that configuration. This is what's going to actually start up Firebase for us. However, we only want to call it if we haven't initialized it before. So Firebase keeps track of all the initialized apps in a variable called apps. And so as long as the length of apps is zero, we can feel free to initialize a new app. And finally, because we're gonna be working with Firestore, the database, we're gonna create a variable called Firestore and instantiate that by saying Firebase dot fire store and this creates the database connection and that is what we'll be exporting from this file this can be used in other utility files to interact with the database so let's do that let's make a new utility file called users and the purpose of this file is to provide methods that talk to the database and like create read update and delete users so we'll start by grabbing that firestore reference from the Firebase file. And then we can create a function called get users, which will be asynchronous because it does speak to uh, the Firebase API. And let's export it here before we forget. Now, this function will start uh, by referencing Firestore and target the user's collection. That's the name of the collection we created. And then call the get method. This retrieves a snapshot of all the documents in that collection at that time. So we'll, we'll assign it to a variable called snapshot. And of course, we'll await that call because it's asynchronous. Now, inside of the snapshot, uh, it holds all of the documents in the collection. And you can loop over all the documents with a for each and for each document, 
in this case, we'll just log it out to the console for the sake of uh, simplicity. So we'll do a console.log document. And instead of just logging the document, uh, Firestore makes you call this method document.data. That's how you get the data out of the document. And it looks like I got a syntax error for some reason. Because I'm missing a parenthesis. There we go. So now we're exporting this function get users that we can use throughout our application to essentially log them out to the console or do whatever we'd like with them. So let's hop over to the index page, the home page. And the very first thing we'll do is import that get users function. And this will be from utils slash users. And now we're going to have to convert this. To actually return this element, but also give us some space to uh, write some code here. So let's run the retrieval of users as a use effect. So when the component loads, and we'll make sure that is imported from React. And then we can just call the get users function. Whoops, put it in the wrong place. So right here, get users. And now when the index loads, the use effect should fire and we'll retrieve our users and log them out to the console. So let's go ahead and start up our Gatsby project and we'll confirm that it actually works. Open up the console here. Do a refresh as it's building. And Gatsby does take a second here. There we go, should be good now. And if I refresh the page, There we go. Took its sweet time. We have all three of our documents being printed out here. Brad Garropy, Wes Boss, and Scott Talinsky. And you'll notice that if you go to page two, nothing happens. We were only doing this on the index page. So now you go back to the home page. That use effect runs again and logs the documents again. So uh, we showed how to hook up Firebase and Firestore in a Gatsby application in this video. Keep a lookout for the next two videos where I'll be showing you how to do the same thing for Create React App as well as Next.js. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.